Hello and welcome. So I had a pretty tough time installing TensorFlow in Anaconda on my new MacBook M1. Some things just didn't want to work and I didn't want to wait for an official solution so I figured out it might be helpful for you if I'm showing you how I did it for me as a quick fix. I also tested this on a Windows system so even if you're a Windows user this could be helpful for you. So yeah if this is working for you or even if it's not please be so kind letting me know. So as you see here I'm in my terminal and moving in the base and a corner environment. On a Windows system, you would need to open up the Anaconda prompt, but essentially you would see a similar thing here. So to install TensorFlow now, we have to set up a new environment by typing in Conda create new. And here we have to specify the name. I'm just taking TF here. And finally, we have to specify TensorFlow. Just as a side note, this is installing the CPU only TensorFlow. So let's execute that. And now you see something is happening here. So I'm not cutting that here. So yeah, let's just take a moment of silence here. Or not, <laughs> proceed here. And then you see that the installation is going on. Now let's take a moment of silence. Okay, and now we have created the environment. And as you already see here, to activate the environment, uh, we, we are typing in conda activate tf. Oh, sorry, that was a typo. Activate tf. Now you see we are in the tf environment here, right? So Let's test it. If this is working, we are just starting Python from this environment. And now we try to import TensorFlow. Need to wait some seconds here. And as you see, it worked, right? So let's take a look at that. So as you see, we are getting all methods and properties of the TensorFlow. So this is working, right? Yeah, and that's already it. So try it out. I hope this is working for you. Um, just as a side note again, so we are in a new environment now, right? So we cannot just use the same functionalities as we can in the base environment. So for example, Jupyter Notebook. So let's exit Python for a second. So if we are in TensorFlow now, or in the TensorFlow virtual environment, and take a look at the installed libraries, you see that we don't have uh, Jupyter here. So I know this is kind of off topic, but maybe you are wondering why you cannot start Jupyter. So if you want to use TensorFlow in Jupyter, you can just uh, install Jupyter here. So we could just use, um, yeah, let's say conda install Jupyter. Yes. Uh, 
And now you could just start Jupyter Notebook. And wait, this is on my second screen here. Now Jupyter is starting. We can open up a Python 3 notebook. And now we can test again, import TensorFlow. And as you see, this is working perfectly, right? As a note for a Windows user only, if you have problems starting Jupyter, you may have to install PyWin32. So just open up your Anaconda prompt. So again, this is not for Mac users. And then type in Conda install PyWin32. Okay, so at least for me, it solved the problem. Okay, yeah, I hope this was helpful for you. Have fun using TensorFlow and yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.